Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, it is November 1st. It is that time of year. Uh, we are doing November again this year. Um, we started doing November in 2019, I think. Is that right? I think so. Um, so this is our sixth year. Uh, we have raised almost $10,000 the last five years. Um, so super stoked and thankful for all the people who uh, donate for that. Uh, it's hard asking for donations. Um, it's just, it's tough. Uh, but this is something that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, men's health, cancer stuff, all that stuff. We've all been affected by it. Um, this year, uh, one of my best friends, Jared, you guys have seen him on videos before. Um, they just lost a very close family friend to brain cancer a couple months ago. Um, and then another one of my really good friends, Paul, just found out that his wife was diagnosed with cancer. Um, so this is shit that just affects all of us on so many levels all the time. So um, if you guys can help, I'm forever stoked, appreciative. Um, there is a link uh, in the description of this video to my Movember donation page. Uh, any amount helps, a dollar helps. Anything that you'd be able to uh, donate, I would just be super thankful and appreciative. So, um, I mean, like I said, we've all been affected by this. I've lost three or four of my mom, well, two of my grandparents <laughs> were cancer. Um, my cousin lost her husband l last year to can like, it's just, it's fucking insane. It's just the fact that it's 2024 and we're still talking about this. Like it's just wild. So yeah. Uh, anything helps. I'm, like I said, super stoked and appreciative. If you guys can donate, um, it just, it goes to a really good cause. So all that aside, uh, we are going to now we're still in fresh hop season. Um, it is that time of year. We are drinking this year's 2024 vintage of Sierra Nevada celebration. One of my favorite beers of all time, Sierra Nevada, Chico, California. And I think they're in North Carolina somewhere. Is that right? Mills river, something river, North Carolina. What is it? Uh, does it say on the can? I can't. Oh, it's dark print on dark, whatever. Uh, 6.8%. Uh, this is an old school West coast IPA. It's fresh hopped. I think it's always sea hopped. They've been brewing. I think this since 1982, it's the same recipe. I fucking love this beer every year. So, uh, canned on September 30th. So we are just a little over a month. I think they let these can condition for a couple months or a couple months, <laughs> a couple weeks, and then they distribute them. So just saw this and I grabbed it. Um, I buy a case of this every year. I let it sit in my fridge. Um, I like drinking this now. I like drinking it at Thanksgiving. I like drinking it at Christmas time. I like drinking it on New Year's. And then I have a couple cans that sit into the year after. So um, this beer ages gracefully. It's just an iconic beer classic. If you've never had this beer, fuck, please go drink it. <laughs> you you need to like check this box and like realize like what this beer is. So um, yeah. Let's get into it. This beer looks amazing. It is that ruby red color. There is almost three fingers of a super fluffy off-white head. Plenty of carb in the glass. It looks absolutely amazing. This always just signals the like the, my favorite time of year, November, December, my two favorite months. I love November and December. Let's smell this. <sighs> it's, just, it's like mother's milk. It is brown bread, it's piney. It's floral, it's hoppy, it is intense. Gosh, it smells so fucking good. It doesn't smell anything like the beers that you're drinking these days. And if a lot of you guys are like these new money haze bros, like I don't know what you would think about the way that this beer smells. But yeah, it's just, there's that brown bread sweetness, pine cones, sprucey, grassy. Gosh, it smells so fucking good. It's like seeing an old friend and give him a big hug. Like that's what this beer is. Let's go and taste it. Cheers. You know, what's awesome about this beer. And I might've mentioned this in years past. I try and review this every year. I don't know if I've reviewed it every single year, but I try and review it every year. This beer, like legitimately every fucking time, every year that you get this beer, you open this and you drink it and it tastes exactly the same. The consistency in this recipe, however they do it, 
whatever the hops that they're using, it is the exact same every single year. You drink it and you're like, this is fucking awesome. It is fantastic. Holy smokes, this beer is so good. That brown bread sweetness right at the front of your tongue, as it goes across your palate, it is floral, it is piney, it is sprucey. Um, there's a nice bitterness that just digs into the middle of your tongue, hangs out. And then that, that, like that breadiness that you're smelling, you get it on the finish. There's a sweetness. This beer is malty, um, but it's also super fucking hoppy right now. It's just such a fantastic balance um, between malt and hops. It just is. This beer is, it's just, I fucking love this beer so hard. I mean, <clears throat> I got away from like, you know, saying beers are perfect or giving beer. I stopped rating beers years ago, giving them hundreds. I'm like, hundreds, perfect. Like this beer is perfect for me. I look forward to this beer every year. I know that every single time that I see this in the store and I grab it, it's going to taste what this tastes like. like. I know this beer. It's, fuck. I don't know how Sierra Nevada does it. This beer is the epitome of consistency. This beer and Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, these are two beers that every single time you sit down and crack a can or open a bottle or have it on draft, you know what you're getting and it's going to taste the exact same. This beer is awesome. And I guarantee Untapped has this at like 3.5. <laughs> and it makes me want to punch everyone in the face. So... Yeah, if you are into old school beers, if you're into nostalgia, this is the beer for you. The breadiness, the pine, like the sweetness, the malts, the hops. It's just fucking, gosh, this beer is, this beer is perfect. This is a Desert Island beer for me. This and Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, those are two beers like I would have forever. I would never get sick of this beer. I would never, like I just, gosh, it's so good. Every single year. Fantastic. So uh, that's a 2024 vintage of Sierra Nevada celebration. I look forward to this beer every year. I'm so happy I'm drinking this right now. I'm going to drink so many six packs of this in the next couple of months and the months after that. So if you've never had this beer, please do yourself a favor. Check it out. Um, I don't know if it's for you, depending on where you're at in your beer journey. Maybe it's not, but you need to check that box. You need to see what this beer is because um, it's just, it's phenomenal. So uh, that is it. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, <laughs> all that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.